Hi, I would like to tell you about how I have tried to encourage my students to reflect on current and prior lectures using mini-tests. A bit of a background, I teach a first year calculus course that uh, has 60 students uh, enrolled from the studies of uh, physics and technology, power electronics and electronics. Uh, and the course resides on a technical faculty at the University of Southern Denmark. I have taught this course for a few years now and is looking to improve it uh, with uh, different uh, means. And one of my sources of inspiration is uh, learning scientists that I learned about on, on Twitter for some, some years ago. And one of the things they present are six strategies for effective learning that are supported by um, um, scientific evidence. And I have tried to take some of these uh, strategies and see if I can use them as part of my uh, teaching and demonstrate the, the, the usage uh, to the students. And the first strategy I'm looking into is what is known as space practice, which is the idea that you need to distribute your learning uh, over time and not only look at a, a topic once, but uh, look at it at one time and then came back to that uh, a few days later and then a, a few days later again uh, go back to it again. In that way it should be easier to recall that information on a longer time scale, which is what we would like the students to know, not just to recall something for tomorrow, but uh, within a half year, a year or so, as long as they study here, but also after the, their study has has ended, they should be able to, to utilize the, the knowledge they, they gain in, in these first year courses. The other uh, study strategy is what is known as retrieval practice. It basically uh, means that you need to put away all your class materials, your notes and so on, and then try to write or sketch down what you know about a subject. And then go back and uh, grade that uh, somehow, check the, the accuracy of that using your, your textbook or, or something like that. Um, and finally, uh, the strategy about elaboration to explain one idea and then try to um, relate that to similar ideas or different ideas and um, put your own words on, on a topic more or less. And these three uh, different uh, study strategies have I combined to what I call a, a mini-test, which is a test given to the students uh, in each of my lectures. I have 14 lectures um, distributed over the, the semester. And each lecture we spend approximately 10 minutes using uh, uh, these tests. And the test consists of two tasks. And the first year I did this was uh, the fall semester last year, where the students first were uh, asked to do what is known as a free recall on today's lecture. Uh, and then after that, do some calculation exercise by, based on the prior lecture. Uh, that is the content we looked at the, the week before. And in this case, I announced the type of exercise uh, was announced to the students in advance, so the new uh, approximately what type of uh, calculation exercise would show up in the minute test. The free recall exercise uh, consists of giving the students a, a blank piece of paper where they can then uh, write down what they recall from today's lecture, uh, as was done here. In practical terms, uh, it, it worked by uh, handing out uh, papers to the students uh, with some markup as uh, shown here uh, in, in this slide. Uh, there are some uh, barcodes uh, at the top uh, and the student name uh, was present here and also some barcode at the bottom to uh, make it possible for a computer to read these pages automatically and we can do something uh, with it afterwards. There are also some uh, scoring uh, possibilities down here and, and on the calculation exercise, but I'll get back to, to that in, in a moment. Then what we get from the student after they have uh, completed such a test is a sheet uh, like this. 
and um, there is a, a nice description of uh, the topic about integration. I can see something about how they use uh, notation and which uh, things they uh, can relate to, which notation they can work with and, and so on. And after I get this, I grade it by uh, um, crossing out one of these uh, small boxes down here and assigning a score on the uh, amount of re information recalled and something like that. Um, in addition, um, there's also this uh, calculation exercise where they were asked to um, uh, solve a certain uh, integral uh, here and the student explains what we are trying to do and uh, comes up, up with an answer. Um, and this exercise is graded on um, on three different uh, level um, items. That is the strategy applied. Is they using the correct strategy for solving such a problem? Do they explain what they are doing? And finally, are their calculations correct? So I try to uh, make them focus on on all of these three aspects of the calculation exercise. So it's not just enough to calculate correctly, they also need to describe what they're doing. So I do this with a, a red pen uh, after the lecture and grading uh, 60 assignments often takes 60 to 90 minutes and so. Uh, after that, I take all the pages, bump them into the scanner and uh, creates a, a PDF uh, from that. And after that step, I analyze the images using some software I, I developed for, for the purpose. And finally, I can return all the uh, results by email to the students, again, based on these uh, barcodes that were present in the images. So now the students have got their results. I got all the these pages uh, in a digital manner and I have uh, digitized uh, the scores for, for each of the students. So that can now contribute to the final grade if we want to do so. And we want to do that as uh, as what is known as a counting activity at the University of Southern Denmark. A few comments from the students were that some of the students uh, zoomed out or detached from the, the current lecture just prior to the mini test that was placed at the end of the of the double lecture uh, I had uh, last year. Uh, and the reason they zoomed out were so that they could prepare for the mini test and then thus do the mini test a bit better. That might be fair to to game the system in, in this way, but it was not what I intended to do with the mini test. So therefore we have tried to adjust this in the current semester um, where the, the free recall exercise were changed a bit. So we were now uh, doing free recall on the prior lecture and also the calculation exercise was based on the prior lecture. So they had time to prepare at home for these uh, exercises. In addition to, to that, the calculation exercise were also announced in advance and I provided some examples uh, online so the, so the students could go there and see can I handle such a type of, um, of uh, calculation exercise. Good. A few comments from the students on the new uh, setup is that the minute test forces you to recap the material. Uh, which I think is a really nice thing because it uh, distributes the uh, the studying of the material over time, one of the effective study strategies. And uh, in addition to that, the mini test uh, also gives the students an indication on how well they understood the subject, and it gives me as a teacher an understanding of how well the students have understood the, the topic, which can be valuable. valuable for me to adjust uh, uh, future teaching uh, according to. As part of the uh, midterm evaluation of the course, I also ask them to evaluate the learning effect of uh, various teaching elements used in the course. And the mini test come in at a uh, fourth place. 
uh, superseded by weekly notes that um, structure the teaching. Uh, that is, which activities will we do in this week, uh, what uh, reading materials are present, and w which videos should they see, and which online exercises should they work with. And the weekly notes, or the second and third place of these teaching elements, are uh, pointing towards uh, online resources, that is both videos and online uh, calculate, calculus exercises. And then the mini test and lectures uh, follow here, with sim approximately equal um, uh, benefits. So a really large uh, fraction of the class, that is 85%, uh, think that the mini tests have a large effect, a very large effect, on the teaching in the class. So I can only be, be proud of, of that part. A few practical uh, concern, concerns related to these uh, mini tests and how to, to deal with them. When I hand them out, I have a, a big um, pile of uh, papers ordered by the first name of the students and I then lay them down uh, on the floor, ordered by the first name, so the students every time can go to the same location and pick up uh, their mini tests. It seems to work uh, quite well. When the students have completed their mini test and the time has uh, d run out, um, there is a bit of issue on that some students continue writing on the test even if the time has uh, run out. And we need to talk about that in the class to, to figure out exactly how to, to handle this. And I think it's enough just to, to talk with the students so we can ensure that all students get the same uh, time and the same possibility of, of doing well on the test. And then a really nice thing is that after the test, um, there is a bit of silence when I pick in the, the mini test and then they start discussing what has been on the test, how they have tried to solve uh, different parts of, of the calculation exercise. And it can be really difficult to make the class quiet uh, again after uh, the mini test. The most effective way of, of making them quiet is actually to show them the solution to the calculation exercise because they really want to know at this time. And that is definitely a, a nice thing ab about these tests in my opinion. Okay, to reflect a bit on, uh, on this use of uh, mini tests, it cost me something mainly in, in terms of time to do so, maybe 15 minutes for the mini test in, in total to have the test and collect the answers and uh, show the solution. And in addition to that, there'll be some grading time, maybe two hours uh, per mini test to get to grade all the, the items and hand them back and so on. But the benefits of doing this is that I, as a teacher, gain a very detailed insight into the students' knowledge about uh, the the topic we have just looked at and on a higher level is that we demonstrate effect these effective study strategies for the students which might help them uh, in their further studies so this presentation was given at uh, a mini conference teaching facts of learning held by the University of Southern Denmark and in that relation a few questions or comments was given by the, um, uh, the attending people. And one was, would it be possible to use peer feedback uh, to reduce this uh, grading time? And in some sense it would be, um, but I have tried not to do that because the results from the mini test counts towards a final grade and I sort of want to, to have a a sense of how that is, um, is graded and I don't want to allow students to uh, game the system somehow uh, with that. A different comment was that it was quite an impressive um, reception of the minutes by the students, meaning that it's a test we force the students to do and 85% of the students like it after um, half of, of the course and that was 
maybe not what you would expect them to think about a test. So if you have other comments or for this, then you are uh, welcome to, to post me, uh, write me an email on, or contact me otherwise. Okay, thanks for now and I hope you learned something from it.